Hi guys, welcome back. I've solved one of my long-term problems today and I wanted to make a video out of it. So hopefully it will help some of you. And that is the ongoing issues I've been having with Android Auto using the wired version and the disconnecting issues. For those of you that may not be aware of this, Android Auto, you can plug your phone into your car, a bit like Apple CarPlay, and it gives you an interface on your entertainment system in your vehicle that allows you to use some of the apps on your phone. Now, the newer models of vehicles sometimes have a wireless feature built in, but a lot of the older cars utilize a wired interface. So that would mean a USB cable running from your car's USB output into your phone. And then that would give you the interface between phone and infotainment system in the car. All sounds great. The problem being that many people, in fact, pretty much everyone I've ever spoken to, has massive issues with this disconnecting all the time. And there doesn't seem to be any sort of solution to it. There's lots and lots of stuff online, all these different tweaks you can perform in the phone's settings and the settings on your car's infotainment system. Sometimes people, if you look on the forums, have had some sort of limited results doing that kind of thing. One of the main ones is the USB cable, and that was what I sort of boiled it down to, that it was a really weird situation that if you changed USB cable and you bought a good USB cable with high data connectivity, then things seemed to work okay, but that would only last a week or two. Now, I don't know if as you move these cables around, they got sort of slightly damaged or something, but whatever happened, I've tried many cables, all kinds of price ranges. And as you can see, you know, piles and piles of cables. Uh, there's a, a new one I bought off Amazon. I've tried different lengths, tried everything, and they all worked for a short time. And then I got into the same position that I'd be driving along. Suddenly I would get disconnected. And this is a real pain if you're using your sat nav you know, it's really useful that you can use the Google Maps feature so you're getting updated traffic reports and all this kind of thing while you're traveling, which you might not be able to get on your inbuilt sat nav in your car. So it was very, very good for that. And then suddenly you'd be halfway through a journey, normally at the most complicated point, the whole thing would disconnect and then you would just be without navigation. And when it comes back on, for example, if I was listening to an audio book or some music at the time, you'd have to sort of reset all that as well. That was, it seemed, one of the factors that if I just had maps on, it was more reliable. It's still disconnected sometimes. If I had maps and music on or maps and an audio book on, then it was asking for trouble. I would probably get disconnected up to 10, 20 times during a journey. So it was a real pain. I finally looked for a, another way around it. I couldn't see any sort of finite solutions on the internet. So I went on Amazon and I had a look at wireless adapters, which always seemed to me to look a bit dubious. You know, they were kind of these uh, knockoff type of devices that didn't seem to have much support from major car manufacturers a lot of brand names that I'd never heard of before. So I looked at what was the best rated on Amazon. And one of the ones I found was this, which was the Jump Peak Adapter, the Jump Peak Wireless Car Adapter for Android Auto. I'll chuck a link below. And then you can see in the video here that I've just plugged this in I've connected my phone via Bluetooth to this adapter, which was very, very quick. It showed up straight away in my Bluetooth settings on my phone. I just paired to the adapter. Now, one of the things when you're doing this that I didn't do at first, I thought, ah, this thing isn't working. You know, it's another piece of junk that I've bought online and I was getting ready to send it back. And then I had another quick read through the instructions. I went through them and noted in Android Auto settings, there's actually a tick box in the settings for wireless. So if you type in Android Auto into your apps search, that will bring up the Android Auto app that you just press on that. It's not an app that you can actually find via an icon. You have to search for it because it's kind of sitting in the background 
If you press on that for settings, it'll bring up your Android Auto settings. I'll put a screenshot of those up and then you can see there, there's a tick box for the wireless function. As soon as I switched that on and then reconnected via Bluetooth, suddenly Android Auto comes up on my infotainment system and it works really well. As you can see, it works with exactly the same amount of lag, which is quite a small amount of lag, but exactly the same as if it was wireless, which is one of the things I was concerned about, you know, would it be really laggy and difficult to control? No, it was exactly the same. I've now been using this for a couple of weeks. I've had zero disconnections, none whatsoever. It's perfectly good, uh, cost about 50 pounds. So for me, this is an absolute solution. And the other bonus to this is, of course, I no longer have to plug the phone in. I just get in the car with my phone in my bag or my phone in my pocket, and it automatically connects up because now it's paired to the Bluetooth device. It just automatically connects every time I get in the car and Android Auto comes on. I'd also heard people worrying about, you know, how long would it take to come on? It's exactly the same amount of time as it takes if you connect with a wire. And in fact, you're actually cutting out the piece where you have to find your phone, get it out, connect it to your USB. Sometimes you might have lost your USB wire. So it takes all that away. And to be fair, by the time I've turned my car on and fiddled about with various things, you know, as you're getting ready to do a journey, Android Auto is already on and raring to go. So this has been a total solution for me. It's a problem I've been having in three different vehicles. So I had a Ford Fiesta ST, I had a Suzuki Vitara, and I have now the Range Rover Sport 21 plate all of them showed exactly the same issue. When I first got the cars and first plugged in, I thought that the issue was cured. You know, it worked for a while, a week or so, and then I started getting these disconnection problems, and then I would just go from one USB lead to another, and uh, it would just be a partial solution for a very short period of time. This seems to have fixed the entire issue. So give it a try. It costs about 50 odd quid. I'll put a link down below in Amazon. Uh, please use the link if you're going to buy one because it does help the channel a little bit. We get a few pence every time you guys buy something from the Amazon link. So it all helps go towards us making content. Thank you very much for that. Leave a comment down below. I really, really hope this helps people as much as it's helped me. I've got no affiliation to this company. I have no clue who they are. I've never ever heard of Jump Peak before. All I know is that they were rated about 4.6 on Amazon, so I bought them. I'm sure there are many other adapters out there that also do a similar job. Thanks a lot for listening, guys. I hope you've had some benefit from this like I have. Uh, keep me updated. Let me hear how you do, and I'll see you all next time.